so this is a video I'm doing reviewing the 2022 Camaro and the um, 1993 Camaro. I had a request to do a longer version of both these videos in a cut in the video. So here we go. First to start off with the brand new Camaro. Since the review did more, and the newer one will take longer. Alright, so let's pop the trunk and show you what's in there because I didn't show that last time. Remember you get the lip spoiler option. That's the new taillight design that the Chevy has. And one thing I do like about the new Camaro is this is a much deeper trunk. I mean, it goes really deep in here. And obviously, as you can tell, my grandmother is a crossing guard, which is why she has crossing guard stuff in there. There we go. One thing I don't know what I said when I like about the car is that the visibility in this car is horrible. The visibility is so bad that it was literally like really hard actually just sitting in it. I was like, oh, I was like, holy crap. Visibility in this is worse than the 2010 model, which she used to have. The 2010 model. And it was like, holy. That was okay. This one, this one was like, ooh, wait, this one's worse. And I guess I think this is the parking brake, I believe. It's a steering wheel. This part, which I like for the most part, is don't like that. This is a CD player. In my opinion, that's the. Move from here. And as you can tell, the noisy, obnoxious keys. Apparently, this is a layer of vents. It's kind of an interesting design. They went with gear shift, no mode. And I guess this is for a slippery thing. I think it's helping that slide, I think. This is, I didn't notice this before, but this is your cigarette lighter, so you can plug electronics into it. And this is your center console. Definitely a different design, which is kind of okay in a way. Let's just start up and see how it runs. Nice and loud. lights up, but then when you turn it off, it goes away. And that's the way it sounds, when it occurs. And get another look at the... Uh, and you just push that. Push that. And that's the your press your trunk button, the little door handle. And then just close that and beep it, which I'll do after the video. Because that's going to be a bit noisy for the video and running ASMR quality. And now for the 93 Camaro. Of course, I got to grab my knees, my Nissan. Because uh, I had some of those keys are on my keys. You got the two keys. Obviously, because this is from 1993, so. That's typical for the era to have two keys. So you can tell a slight, a bit of a different rim change. And so, as two keys work for the young generation, doesn't know. Okay, so here's the two keys. You take the shorter key, and then, because this does not have no electronic uh, locks. It does have a security alarm, but no, no, that was added. But it doesn't, does not have any you know, electronic gear. <laughs> and you step in, you just put the key in, uh, and then you start it like that. Because back then, if you don't just know, you used to have keys in this is nice, and the keys would like flop like that. Got your. Emergency brake, your 
gear shift, completely different design. This is air vent, one of them, air vent, air vent. Here's your light, which is typical for Chevy to turn it, the knob to turn the lights on. Or my Nissan is just one of those, like you turn the, oh, where's the lever? You turn the lever that way for, um, the lever for, um, yeah, turn the lights on. But in Chevy American cars, mostly you do, you turn these little knobs. And so, see that? I wish you could tell it gets to turn it on because it was working, but we had to change the battery in it and do some work on it. It used to be then, because my grandmother had this, you know, this was bought from the factory in 1993. Like, it was even, like, built, like, the dealership ago. This was actually pre-ordered back in 1993. <sighs> stuff. But it's fun to drive and everything. Even though it's a V6, it's pretty fast. Now, of course, when it comes to the standards, yeah, it's, you know, it's slow, you know, compared to modern standards where a V6 can do much faster than this car can. And you can tell 115 miles an hour. My Nissan has a four cylinder, a big four, a big four cylinder, and the top speed, and that's like 160. You know, that's just a four cylinder. <laughs> V6s can also be 160, but they'll be much more horsepower, more torque. Of course, I'll take up more of a gas hog because I have had, I've had a V6 before, and they're nice engines, but they're definitely gas hog. <laughs> A, pre pre a preference in the engine usually when it comes to a daily driver it's a you know four cylinder you know a small four cylinder Cause I had a my, I had a I actually had a sports car I had a small four cylinder it was a Scion car but it was really fit it was pretty fast for a four cylinder it actually had more torque than my Nissan did and my, my Nissan has a bit more horsepower but my course that one my car in particular is more heavy Wing thingy there, and you do have a secret lighter thing there. I have to see if it works because it is a little bit. As you can tell, my grandma didn't really take good care of it, so you know. But it's fun to drive around in. And you got another one right there for secret lighter. So we're gonna get it up and running so we can start driving it again. It'll be fun to start driving it again. Like I said, it'll take time. stuff in the back seat. My garage skates and you know, all that kind of thing. Okay. There we go. And you got roll up windows. Oh. You can tell you got the windows locks in the truck. Of course it does. See if you have roll up windows. We got one cup holder. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit noisy because I need something to be 40. Lock it like that. It does have a hatchback, which I'll just show. But like that. And it opens up with a keyhole and everything, but as you can tell, it's really close to the gate, so I can't get behind it to, to get it. And plus, and because there's some of the things that hold support, the um, trunk is actually not, is not these new ones. So I kind of need both hands, and I can't do that and plus hold the camera, the camera at the same time, unfortunately. But yeah, that's a longer review of the 2022 Camaro and the 1993 Camaro. Now, in case people are wondering, yes, these are both V6 cars. V6s. I wish they were V8s, but the V6s. V8 would have been more interesting for a video, but you know. But they're also expensive and you know, tremendous gas hogs. And with gas prices being so expensive nowadays, you know, having a car that's a gas hog can be a bit tough and a bit pricey. You know. But yeah, that's about it for this video. So I hope you like this video. Like, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the very next video.